Hello, my name is Marteinn and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to do a test on layer adhesion based on print temperature for PETG. So let's have a look after the intro. So the other day I was doing a print test with layer adhesion on a PETG filament from IC3D. Um, what I was doing in that test, I was printing with different part cooling fan to see how part cooling affected layer adhesion. And I built myself this rig I have here in front of me to do a, a, like a break test. Um, I printed out several items and tried to break them in a consistent manner. Um, what I've done since that video, I made some adjustment to my device. Um, like additions to it and it will probably be an involving device that I make it better and better each time I, I work with it but I made a handle to do more consistent pulls and also printed out uh, a new puller device to accommodate the string for the handle and then I put in some extra changes that I will won't go into detail but uh, basically the, the plan is to be able to break those tests in as consistent manner uh, as I can. Um, before I made those changes, I was getting 15 to 20% error in the values, breaking prints that were printed out with the same materials using the same settings. And I want to reduce that error and uh, I'm trying to do those adjustments to minimize the error, but to get my head around what sort of an error I'm having. I printed out a lot of test samples. Um, uh, what I got here is 100 break tests <laughs> that I printed out and, and, and in two different materials and, and some of all those black filaments as well. But I was recording the value for each one and getting uh, charts in Excel with uh, different values to get an idea of how accurate the device was. And, there's always a, a difference in how fast I pull and, and also how I line the part. Um, uh, it's a printed part, so it's not perfect every time. So I was trying to get some idea of how much error I'm having. Um, currently, I'm getting around 10 to 15 percent errors, like plus minus 10 to 15. So it's a little bit more accurate than before, and that's uh, the goal. Um, at one point I'm probably going to do some changes to make it more accurate, but this is what I got for this test. So what I've done is to print out uh, four tests. So what I have here on the table are uh, print temperatures from 225 to 230, 235, 240, 245, 250, 255 and 260 and four pieces of each. So now I'm going to break all those tests and record the values for each sample and I'll uh, put the results in Excel and, and show you my results. So now I will rig up everything and, and start breaking the set test pieces. So now I'm going to start with 225 degrees. Um, what I do is to put this in here and this standing up and then pulling this part over. So this will align here. And now I can do the pulling and to turn on the scale and then pull here. And the video will record the, the time the part will break. So this will be taking some time and I have to reset the scale each time.
here are the results. I was getting a constant growth in later tissue from 225 to 260 uh, to 255 degrees, and then a small drop in 260 degrees, but the increase from the recommended printed temperature 235 to 235 to 255 is only 0.9 kilos, uh, while a while in this graph where I tested uh, part cooling uh, fan, I was getting much better layer adhesion up to uh, 11.53 with zero part cooling fan. So I was getting better results even at 80% part cooling than the best test I could do uh, with print temperature. So I would recommend using just a recommended print temperature of 230 or 240 and, and then lowering part cooling to get better layer adhesion. The difference between print temperature is not so much and I was having the part cooling fan at 100% throughout this test. So this test gave me good results in number wise. It was good to test how the layer adhesion would change even though it did not change much going from 3.1 at 235 the recommended print temperature for this filament to to 4.0 at 255 it's a uh, like 20 percent increase so that that's a pretty good number but just lowering the part cooling will give you much more re better results and going from 100 percent part cooling to 40 percent part cooling is a huge difference in layer adhesion so for this pet G, I would just recommend to lower the part cooling fan and use the recommended print temperature. But the filament I was using for this test was IC3D pet G. I was given this filament by Sean in, when I met him at Earth this year. So I thank IC3D for, for this filament. Uh, they gave it to me to play around with. Um, and, uh, I was surely playing around. It's good fun to do those tests. But this will be it for this video. I hope you like this video and if you like my channel, please subscribe and, and hit that like button. And I really appreciate that. So for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.